Running a business is exciting, but let's be real. Keeping up with customer questions, scheduling, and endless administrative tasks, not so much. What if you had an assistant who worked 24 seven, handled customer interactions, and never needed a coffee break? Meet Jotform AI Agents. Jotform AI Agents are your automated customer support team, handling inquiries, assisting with form filling, and guiding users through processes so you don't have to. So in this video, let's say you're running a membership-based business, maybe a coaching program or a private community. Instead of manually answering the membership questions and processing signups, let's set up a Jotform AI agent to do it for us. So we're starting off in the Jotform workspace. And to get started with AI agents, we can go over to my workspace and click on my agents right here, which is new. To create an agent, we will click on create agent. And we have six options or six channels to choose from. We have a standalone, a chatbot, and over on the right hand side, you see what they look like. A phone option, voice, WhatsApp, and I believe coming soon is Messenger. For this demo, we're gonna be using the standalone option and click on next. Now, you have four things to choose from. You can start from scratch, start with a form, use a template, or clone yourself. Now, I'm gonna start with a form because again, our demo is based on a club membership form. So we'll click on start with form. Then you're gonna have the option to select the form you wanna use. There's the form, click on create agent. Now it's going to interpret that you are looking to create a membership assistant AI agent. So you'll see right off the bat that it says, hello, I'm Clara, your AI agent. How can I help with your membership registration today? And it links to register for the membership right here. It also has a pre-filled in button here as well called learn about membership rules. Both of those things have been interpreted based on the form. So over on the left-hand side of our build options, we have again, the channels that we can select from. And each time you select one, it'll show you what it would look like to the end user. Over on the right-hand side, we have the AI agent designer in which we can change out our avatars, and there are a bunch of avatars we can change out from. We can generate an av avatar based on an AI prompt, or we could upload our own avatar and swap it out with the person that's already here. In addition to avatar, we also have style. So there are defined color schemes that you can select from. And then based on each color scheme, you can then fine tune a little bit more by giving the different colors for the start color, end color, page background. You can upload an image, you can have different button style colors, those types of things. We'll stick with blue. At the very bottom of the page, you'll see here that it's got a conversation page and it also has you can the ability for you to add a welcome page. So this would be the welcome page. You can say start a chat or start a call. To change the welcome page settings, you can click on the little cog here and you can change out the heading. So you could call it the uh, club membership assistant or something like that. Uh, you could enter in a, a description or a greeting. Uh, also under the menu options, you can uh, turn off voice if you don't want that ha to have that on. If you uh, don't want allow users to fill in or contact connected forms, you can turn that off as well. And you could turn off or turn on chat history so that the person has the opportunity to download the chat history. Now, if we go into the train tab, it starts you off under the knowledge base tab where you can add in manually text-based information. In addition to that, we can also add links. We can add links to a variety of websites, not just your own, in order to facilitate your AI agent answering questions. Then there is a file option. You can upload files to train your agent. And then you can provide a simple Q&A so that your agent knows specifically from you questions that people might ask and the appropriate answer. So that's how you train your agent using the knowledge base. But let's go up one tab to the AI persona. Here's where you can fine tune how your AI interacts with your customers. So you can give it a name. We will keep Clara. The agent role is based again on the form that's associated with this particular AI agent. You also have the ability to change the language in which the agents greet the users or the customers. So 
by default, it's on English, but there are many languages that you can select from. Tone of voice. Now, this is an interesting one because there are three to choose from, but you can customize the tone here. So I, I'm tempted to put in snarky to see what happens, but I won't do it for this demo. If you do try that, let me know how it works for you. Under the conversation style, you have two options, chat and voice. And this is how lengthy you want your responses to your customers. So it starts off to default between 50 to 100. You can have it very chatty or minimally chatty. That's up to you. And on the voice side, you can have the voice response length and also change the voice itself. And you could have a playback here and listen to the voice, or you could go in here and change it. And you can change the accent, uh, change the gender or the age. We'll keep it to Jessica as the default. Then there are guidelines. And again, this is based on the form that it is is associated with. So it says your main goal is to assist users with membership registration. I could tweak that, I could add it, I could add additional guidelines here, as many as I need in order for the AI agent to know as much as possible about the membership that I'm offering. Keep it the default for now. So now let's go back under knowledge base because I do have a knowledge base uh, document here that I will download and then upload so our agent knows a little bit more information about our membership. So let me go ahead and do that now. I'm just gonna go to file, download. Uh, we'll make this a, a PDF, it shouldn't matter, but we'll just make it a PDF and then click on save. Then we'll go over to our agent here. We'll go to file and we'll just drag and drop our downloaded file here over to there. And then it's asking, how should your agent use this document? I would say, uh, use this document to assist membership uh, registrants, FAQs or other factual data needed if questions arise, something like that. And we'll click on save. Okay. So it's saying the process has started. So the agent currently is now reading this file, interpreting it, and will then add it to its knowledge base. Okay. The file has been uploaded. What else do we have here? So we've talked about AI persona and knowledge base. Now let's go under actions. So actions are if this, then that. So when there is a particular condition, so if the user talks about a specific thing or says a particular thing, provides some information, we can then do something with that. So there are lots of actions here that you can use. You can do conversation starts with, user talks about, you could do user provides, and then under the provides section, you could fine tune this and type in a custom state here. So let's say that their membership is standard, premium or ultimate or something. You could customize it and say, well, do something with that information. So you could say, show a button, uh, talk about something else, go to a website, trigger a workflow, even show a video. So that's nice to have these actions. And then under tools, you can extend your capability of your AI agent. You could have them take a note, which is turned on by default. You could have them show a video, display a PDF, take a photo, even down the bottom here, you can have a trigger a workflow in jot form. And then uh, you have simple as sending a message in Slack. So these are extended capabilities that you can add to your AI agent. And again, here's the form associated with our AI agent. Final thing you can do is just talk to your agent, <laughs> which is really cool and really weird at the same time, just like if you're talking to ChatGPT, I suppose. So you could have a conversation here and just let it know that things about, in this case, about your membership, your organization, about your company. So the, the more you information you provide it, the more it has a better understanding and the better it will answer customer questions. So I could just say, howdy, what information do you think would be helpful for customers to complete the club membership application? So it's picking up some information already from the form itself. I could say, well, it would be useful for you to know that there is a 30 day money back guarantee 
T and enter that. So you can see here that they've added in information that there's a 30 day money back guarantee to my knowledge base. When you're all done setting up your AI agent, we can click on the publish. And so let's go over to the publish tab and try this all out, shall we? We'll just copy the link and we'll open up in a new tab. So I'm gonna click on chat. So this is our welcome page. Now it should set you out with, hey, let's register for the membership, but we can also click on learn about membership options. So it's gonna give me information based on the document that I provided. So it's gonna enter, give us the cost and the types. And so I could ask it, uh, what do I get with the standard membership? And it will, based on the document again, it will provide you with the information about what's included in the standard membership. Can I upgrade my membership? And again, it's able to answer that question. Now, there might be questions where it doesn't have the answer to. So let's try to ask it a question that it might not know. Okay, so it says, I'm sorry, I don't have specific information about the owner of this membership. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask. So if we go back into our AI agent over here and go to train and refresh, you'll see here that we have a little red icon up here under the train tab. And you'll see here that we now have an unanswered question that we should answer. So what we can do here is we can see questions and then we can supply an answer for our AI agent. So we could say the owner of the membership is strategic marketing solutions run by Larry Snow and click on save. All right. So I refreshed Clara here. Now I'm just going to take it through the process of signing up for the membership. And the membership doesn't include a payment process, but you could probably add that in at a later time. I just just wanted to show you a demo of this. So register for membership. It'll walk us through question by question in our form. So it's assembling the questions and it's going to ask, hey, do you mind if we chat through this? It's going to take a little bit of time or, or do you want to open up the form? So I'm going to say fill the form in chat. And so we'll take you through a couple of questions here so you can see how it works. Now, I have a skip option here because I did not mark any of the fields as required. But in any case, let's click on, uh, let's type in Larry Snow for our name. And it's nice because it says, hey, thank you, Larry. Could you please provide your email? So in a conversational style, it is walking me through each question of the form. Okay, then it's going to ask an address and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now over on the right hand side, you'll see here that it says open form. So we could open the form and fill it out that way. But in the conversational way, it's a pretty nice feature that you can just answer these questions as you go along. So let me go ahead and quickly fill out this form and we'll come right back to at the end. Okay, once you submit your application, we will contact you shortly to complete your membership application. Thank you. And then you can review and submit. So I will click on review and submit. It will take me to the form that I just filled out and I can review the information here. I can change it, all that good stuff. And for now, I'm just gonna click on submit and it just says, thank you. Your submission has been received and it gives us a little emojis. And that's it. In just a few minutes, We've built an AI powered assistant that streamlines membership signups, answers customer questions, all saving you time and effort. If you're ready to automate your customer interactions and free up some of your time, try JobForm AI agents today. And let me know in the comments how you're using AI in your business. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more automation tips. And I'll see you in the next video.